Welcome back, guys. This is Rocky Roadhouse, Rotten Apple Gaming here. Picking up here at episode 11 of the Evil West, where we just got through defeating this uh, highborn here. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Moved on and see what other I think I found the entrance, Mr. Jesse. Nasties we can find to kill. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. <coughs> that was yes, we do. Fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's... More of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that... angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet <laughs> malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Uh... Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work or there's going to be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? <laughs> he is not happy at all with these guys. <laughs> The 
Mr. Rentier, there's an issue. I don't like this at all. The Rentiers might be the founders of the Institute, but Dr. Blackwell's the one in charge here. She asked why she can't visit your father. Agent Hall said it's your call. I hope Dr. Blackwell is not being relieved of her duties here. Well, if uh, Rentier gets uh, any more pissed up or pissed off, there's probably going to be a lot more people relieved of a lot of duties. <laughs> he is pretty uh, fired up about this whole situation. I find kind of comical. We know what the objective is. It's just <clears throat> I think I just improved. I haven't met too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. Kill all the monsters. Well, that's what we do. So it'll be a good time. He likes this. Yep, he definitely likes it. He likes it a whole lot. <laughs> that was good stuff. Side by side. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh. <clears throat> Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well,. So be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> she got a moody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? Oh, we shall, yes. The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. 
purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. Once again, they're on the grumpy side. But, but replace over one new thing. Take that. I have a bad feeling about it. Still need 5,000 to really do anything useful, so we'll just continue on. Ooh, zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. Okay, I see that. Let's go here and make sure we're not missing anything. Nope. Holy shit. Chester did say something about the source of the glamour. This must be it. The source. Disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour hmm. is probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. We need to take them out to destroy the illusion. Now, here we go. Get some uglies.
Well, that just kind of stings a little bit. That's not what I meant to do. Oh well. <laughs> creepy. Super creepy. Two sources more. Dog it.
Let's see where we're at on our money here. You know, we got to do more. How about that? I don't know. Don't ask me why I was forgetting how to do the zapper thing, but I was. Andalusia spent thousands to take possession of this shithole, but it looks abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Much I got forty six hundred. Just a little bit more. Can't get up to that way, so I have to go around here in a second. Okay. Well, feel free to uh, pause that and read that if you're interested. We want to keep this moving along here. I have enough bucks for an upgrade. I do, don't I? Well, do we want great finish? I think we're going to uh, do that. All right. I hear you waiting, creeps. Yes, we do. Oh, look at them all down here. Oh, let's check this beauty out. Got a scorcher here.
There you are. Yeah, let's see if it did enough damage for us to do something now. <clears throat> the last source. Let's Was? See if you're hiding there. Okay. Here we go. Wee. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do now. I guess just this. Well, that was just spippy. Jeez, that damn smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Ugh. These little leech things. Oh, this ought to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is not going to be fun at all. opportunity there.
turn their familiars into ticks. jump back down here again pretty sure I didn't miss anything okay So she changed every last one of the workers here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's nothing. Well, it looks like I can get in that thing, but. Go tech. I'm excited. Go tech now. All right. <clears throat> well, shall we continue on? see anything back that way. Mist is maybe the more appropriate word I'm Hell, looking for here. These things are alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source. That's no way to be. Ooh. 
Oh, didn't expect that in this damn jungle. Well, we almost missed it, didn't we? flourishes by feasting on its blood okay I guess they don't give us much choice on what direction we gotta go. Guys, I think we're going to call it right here. Um, stay tuned for episode 12 coming up. Thanks for jumping in and take your time out of your day and enjoying this with me. And it's been uh, a lot of fun. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Look forward to seeing you again. Remember, if you enjoy the content on my channel, please subscribe. Like the video, if you would, please. It does uh, greatly help. Appreciate it. it. Helps me out. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care and happy holidays, guys.